Fleet TV Plus. Ibauchi State Police has detained an 18 year old pregnant housewife on suspicion of killing her five year old stepdaughter by beating her until she died on her body. This was reviewed by Hawa Mohamed, the Commissioner of Police for Bauchi State, on Tuesday at the command headquarters while the suspect was being paraded before reporters. He stated that after seriously hurting the young person, the suspect, Khadija Adamu, a resident of the Kada area, a suburb of Bauchi City in Bauchi State, was taken into custody. On September 28, 2023, at about 9.25 p.m., Abdulaziz Adamu, a 38-year-old man from the Kada area of Bauchi, reported to the 8th Division Police Headquarters that at the same day, at approximately 4 p.m., Khadija Adamu, an 18-year-old woman from the same location, had a female five years. As a result, she sustained serious injuries on her body. She took the victim to the Abu Bakr Tafawa Balewa University Teaching Hospital in Bauchi, where the attending physician pronounced her death. The victim suffered various degrees of damage on her body and the suspect beat her up due to an allegation that she passed through that ruined her clothes. Statement reads from the preliminary investigation. Crime against her during questioning and that the inquiry is still ongoing. If the established offense is proven, the suspects would then be charged in court. Moving on, the General Overseer of Omega Power Ministries, OPM, Apostle Chinyere has rescued internet sensations, happy boys from prison in Cyprus. Happy boys were arrested and remanded in prison over an offense which wasn't made public. Despite that they have serially offended the clergyman, reports have it that he has sent lawyers to bail them. Happy boys for some months have continuously defamed Apostle Chinyere. They shared unpleasant information about him and threatened to bring the apostle down. Happy boys who were former staff of Chicken Republic were discovered by OPM pastor Chibuzo Chinyere when they were sacked by the management of the company. The government said that only qualified contractors would be hired to handle road projects across the nation going forward. This was revealed to State House correspondent by Minister of Works David Humai during his meeting with President Bola Tinubu on Tuesday in Abuja. Certain contractors have been accused of taking on many road projects concurrently when they lack the tendency of contractors to take on multiple road projects that they deleted as a result for the delay in contracts that led to delays and sometimes abandonment of projects. This needs to change so that the renewed hope of the Tinubu led administration can reach and benefit the people. He said also authorized the contract for a number of badly needed national roads such as the east-west road the third million bridge rehabilitation and the benessa fort use the minister said that some restrictions apply in order to guarantee high quality the federal government will subsequently be engaged in handling road country to reduce the incidence of delay in completion he said that some contractors have been identified with collecting several road projects at once without the capacity to handle such projects delay of contractor completion has been identified as a propensity of contractors to take on several road projects that they do not have the equipment to tackle. Umayi said that the president has also approved the contract for various roads across the country. The president also approved the contract for various roads across the country that needed urgent attention. Tractor, which is to continue with the asphalt, then it must meet the conditions and that it would guarantee Nigerians that when you finish this asphalt, we do not fail within at least 15 years. The design shelf life is 20 years, but assure us in writing from a reputable insurance company and from their home. So we are saying that concrete is very friendly with water and so we want contractors to have an alternative. There is a catalyst in the use of concrete pavement. It will create jobs for our people. Everything about the construction is local. Building cement fact called for the cooperation of all stakeholders to the various reforms by the administration, economic prosperity for Nigerians, adding no gang up by anybody or group would defer nationwide.